Is that Chris? I ain't gonna lie, y'all. I think Cook might be an understatement. Um, these guys are down so bad. Not only did they get caught on camera, and they got caught the way they got caught. Um, but not only were they caught on camera, not only did the girl tell on them, but these guys' guns were linked to two other shootings in the M. Hey man, um, put a knife in it, put a fork in it, whatever they say, it's over, bro. Because I ain't gonna lie, after this. Only God can be able to get them out of this situation. Man, what is good, YouTube? Y'all already know who it is, bruh. Look, it's Jay here, y'all. Back with another video, man. And today, y'all, we got a crazy and wild video to talk about. Now, it seems like we got another update on Julio Fulio. Yes, y'all, it seems like we got another update on this situation. And it seems like more documents or court documents have been released. And it seems like these guys are overly cooked. Now, it seems like today they dropped news where they pretty much um, showed paperwork and showed that, you know, the weapons that they had used to take out Fulio were also um, weapons that were matched in seven other cases, but an M also, and it's not looking good for none of them. Now, we're going to talk about it, and I'm going to show y'all the proof and everything that's going on. But before we do real quick, y'all know my routine, man. Hit that like button, you feel me, and smash that bell so that you know you can be notified anytime I drop a video, and I can also keep y'all updated on this situation. Now, as I said, man, right now it's another update. Um, on Fulio and it's not looking good. Now, sadly, we all know back in June 2024, or June 24th of 2024. <sighs> now listen, bro, quick disclaimer. I don't know why I kept saying June 24th. I meant to say June 23rd, so excuse me for this video for all the times I say 24th. I meant 23rd, bro. <sighs> My goodness, I'm only noticing that I'm editing. But yeah, um, Fulio was gunned down, you feel me? Sad situation, out drunk, celebrating his birthday, got caught down bad boom he lost his life now right after that they caught the people that did it within a month now three guys and a female end up getting arrested one going by the name of sean gothright or gathright which ended up being a photographer a guy that really wasn't even in the streets but was doing what he was doing for whatever reason another guy that goes by the name of isaiah chance which is gutter zay a guy that was real cool with nhg you know the uh, a some side but end up being cool with 1200 also and then we got another guy that go by name of rashad murphy mr bible man the man that brought out the bible when he got caught and you know things haven't been looking good now the girl instantly told on him told where they got the car from it was news coming out that he used his mom car to do the drill they took a three hour uber all the way back to jacksonville it just was bad they booked the airbnb they were caught all on video it was down bad now today new court documents came out and things are looking bad now the first document says it was apparent from the video surveillance footage recovered at the scene that the two of the shooters were armed with rifles that appeared to be equipped with brass catchers the third shooter was armed with a pistol there was a muzzle flash imitating from the pistol at a high rate of speed the pistol was believed to be equipped with the switch making it capable of firing fully automatic the pistol had visible extended magazine in it all three gunmen were wearing dark clothing hooded sweatshirts and what appeared to be ski masks 31 fire shell cases were located in the area of one of the shooters all of the fire cases were collected as evidence with one being submitted for um NIBIN analysis. I don't know if I'm saying that wrong, but uh, I'm just say Nibin or Nibin. I don't know. Nibin analysis indicated a correlation that the collected cases was correlated to five separate shooters that occurred in Jacksonville, one of which was a homie. During the inspection of the casing, it was determined that the firearm that they came from was most likely a generation of five Glock 9mm, basically a Gen 5. You feel me? On June 26, 2024. During the evening hours, JSO conducted a traffic stop for a traffic infraction on the forerunner Sean Gathright was driving, which the light-skinned guy that got arrested. The odor of marijuana was detected in the forerunner, which led to a profitable call search. During the search, JSO collected a Glock millimeter semi-automatic pistol in the center console. The search also revealed a bag consistent to one being transferred from the Apollo to the forerunner at his grandmother's house. Inside the bag, they located 223 rifle live rounds and approximately nine rifle spent casings. They also collected a loose nine millimeter barrel and a loose firing pin belonging to the Glock, belonging to a Glock, excuse me. The barrel and firing pin were determined to come from a generation five nine millimeter Glock. <clears throat> Same thing that they recovered from the shooting. Whatever that word is, testing of the spent rifle casings found in Sean Gathright 
had a positive match of two JSO cases. The cases linked to a JSO homicide on May 23rd, 2024, where a victim was killed in the same cul-de-sac where Gutterze, you know what I'm saying, um, Isaiah Chance, aka Gutterze, the guy I was telling y'all that was locked in with, with NAG in 1200, girlfriend Alexia Marshall lives. You feel me? Basically saying that, you know, there was um cases that was linked into what she stated at. Well, how much I have a minute that it could be possibly going towards that way. The second case the rifle cases linked to was JSO on October 7, 2023, which an attempted murder where the victim in this homicide, Charles Jones, aka Julio Fulio, was shot in Jacksonville. Now, as y'all see, man, um, pretty much not only did they got one to match five different shootings, but they also got one to match um a homicide that happened back in what on uh, may of 23rd of this year now why are they keeping the same weapons that they use on another drill or um a murder it's it's, it's just it just mind blows me you feel me i'm not no criminal i don't respect criminals i don't necessarily agree with criminals but i'm not dumb you feel me if you're gonna do that i would know it would be smart enough to get rid of that weapon why would you keep the weapon that you use in another shooting you feel me but crazy thing about this is they said that literally they got some cases that matched the shooting that happened back in you know, uh, October the last year, which meaning when Fulia got hit in his leg, which means they've been trying to get him up out of here. Now, I don't know who this Sean Gathright guy is. I don't know if he's a hitman or what, you feel me? But he's not the brightest. Now, obviously, he was out there doing what he's doing. And it's crazy because not only are you caught up in this M, but you connected to a whole nother shooting that happened a couple months uh, or a month before this. That's even worse, you feel me? That's making your situation look worse. And, bro, you got bullets that's matching that. You're overly cooked. You feel me? Not only were you one of the guys that they said was on camera actually hitting that fully, but you also was a guy that got killed, shell cases that's matching another M. That's two homicides. You feel me? But like I said, this guy obviously wasn't smart enough. You feel me? This dude was using his mama car to go on the drill. He was caught on camera bringing in the same weapon into the Airbnb. Like, you feel me? Um, Taking Ubers all the way from, 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 Temple back to Jacksonville. It just wasn't smart the way he went about this situation. And honestly, I think it's gonna get ugly. But I feel like um more stuff gonna come out, meaning they're gonna talk about where it came from, who dropped the bag, if that was that. Because when I not I did not know this dude was 18 years old. Um when you a guy that young, bro, you facing life or worse, bro. A natural human is gonna do whatever they can to make their situation better. I don't care who you are, unless you just a stand-up guy that I don't know about, maybe I don't. Um, I'm pretty sure he's been the same, and there's going to be a lot more rest being made, you feel me? Because that man is 18 years old. Nobody want to lose their life or uh, lose their freedom at that early of an age, bro, because this is a serious case. He got picked up by the feds. You face some real time. This is no joke, you feel me? Like, all that spinning these rappers be talking about and all that spinning, they be doing things that's cool, you know, hit him in leg and all that, but they probably thought there was going to be like a, another JSO case where they do something and they don't get necessarily picked up for it. JSO don't care about it. But sad situation, Praying for everybody in the situation. Pray that it all ends in God's will. At the end of the day, Julio wasn't no angel, but his mom do got to live with that pain for the rest of her life. So, hey, man, it is what it is. But let me know what y'all think about this in the comment section. And let me know how y'all feel about it, bro. Y'all already know who it is. It's Lucas J. Thank God for another day, man. Y'all be safe. I love y'all. Christ loves y'all so much more, man. Yeah, bro. I'm out, man.